Are you serious? There are many ways to kill some time out there, but right now you're killing some time with us. So when I say us, it's me, Marcus Bronzy, and our guest today, Max Denham. What's going on, Max? I'm good. I'm good. Good to be here, bro. Yeah, it's good to catch up with it's you, man. It's been a while. It's it been has. a long time. When was the last time I saw you? I think we was like drinking tequilas in Vegas or something. No, we could talk about that on the show. Fuck it, it's hard to kill an hour. Yeah, we we'll talk about everyone that. Everyone drinks alcohol, everyone, bro. Everyone drinks tequila in Vegas. It's just everything else that we do. I think uh, it's like a law. Like in, te- <laughs> in Vegas, you actually have to drink tequila. You have to drink tequila in Vegas. In fact, if we look up the legislation, Max, a hundred percent. If I Google that, I think that is a law. Before I crack on with today's show, can I tell the listeners about uh, an amazing competition that we got real quick? Please Max? do. Please Please do. I'm interested. Can I? Can I? Can I enter? You You can enter. It, I know I guess. what the prize is. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, um, I don't know. You might have seen this online. I went on this kind of super adrenaline charged jet ski whale submarine thing. Did you see it or not? I've, I've not- seen. I've seen a picture. It looks like a little submarine, but it's got like a little lid. But it looked a bit unsafe. Like it looked like when you get in it, it might tip over. You know what the great thing is about it is it does tip over, but it's so waterproof that you can tip over, you can go underwater. You, you have to wear a wetsuit. It. I didn't have to wear a wetsuit. I just wore normal clothes in it. Wore normal I, clothes. I'd be in. a bit scared. Like you've got nice trainers on, bro. Like what if you put your foot in the water and you get wet feet? I was scared, but it was fully airtight. Yeah, uh, and that was Predator Adventures. I think it, it's like. It's really weird. It's like I'm on a jet ski that can go underwater. It's got like a 300 horsepower engine, goes 60 miles an hour above the water, 40 miles an hour below the water, and it jumps like 18 foot in the air. It's sick, And right? it's painted like a killer whale. Painted like a killer whale, just in case anyone wants to fuck with you, because nobody fucks <laughs> with a killer whale. Um, but I thought it was good, Max. So what I did was, is I spoke to them and I said, can we give away an opportunity for somebody to go and have a go in that experience? They said, fuck yeah, Marcus Bronzy. So the way you can enter is by going to howtokillanhour.com forward slash win. That's it. Go can, to, can how, it, yeah, go on. Is there two seats? There are two seats in can it. I, can I go with them? There's one for the pilot. And one for you to sit in the back. Is it called a pilot if it's a submarine? I thought that was planes. I don't know, you know, because because the, the thing's actually got... It's got F-16 fighter jet glass over the top of it. That's what they tell you to make sure you feel safe so you're not worried the glass is going to break. Yeah, and but it that's, feels like that's, you're in a that, cockpit that's, of a that's, plane. That, that's like saying, oh, this spoon's made out of the same material <laughs> as a gun, so this spoon is a gun. Sp- bruv. <laughs> bruv. <laughs> bruv. Remember, bruv, spoons don't kill people. People Rappers people. do. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. So um, yeah, that's a good point, actually, Max. I don't know. I love I love a conversation with him. Shall I call? Shall I call? Surely he's the captain. Or not? He's but the captain. He called himself a pilot. He's a sailor, bro. He called it. So he's, 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 he's now a sailor. It's not a cockpit. What? Where do? Where do? That's um, like people who make around? coffee. Yeah, they call themselves um, baristas. Barista. But like, if you if you're in a conversation, you meet someone in a pub, and you're like, oh, what do you do for 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 a living? You go, I'm a barista. It sounds like you're a lawyer. <laughs> So what's the fancy way of saying what you do for a living, Max? Um, disc jockey. Oh, I thought you were a blender of But then musics. that also sounds like i just done the Grand National. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Right, anyway, before we move on, Max, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to enter that competition and have a go in this submarine boat supercharged whale animal that can jump 18 foot in the air, go to howtokillanhour.com forward slash win. And the bonus is, Max, is everyone that enters also gets a discount code. So if you enter and you don't win, we're going to send you an exclusive discount code, which gives you a little bit of money off should you want to do it anyway, because we're nice like that. Well, I think if if, if people are signing up for the competition, they want to go. So everyone's going. There we go. Yeah, oh, mate, it's sick. If, in fact, I feel like we should take you down there, Max, and, f- and film your response. I would love be, to. It would be amazing. I'm right. going to ask the pilot some questions. <laughs> or, or the captain. I, I think he's a sailor. I'm going to call him a sailor. Does he wear a sailor's hat? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Should he, though? That's I, the I think so. If you're a sailor, you need, you need to wear the appropriate gear. <laughs> <laughs> right. Max. Max Denham. Which is your real name? That is... No, well... well I've got a middle name. Can we, can we go in with your middle name? Yeah, of course. Cool. Of course. So, um, Max Wolf Gang Denim. Max right? Wolf Denim. No, oh, is gang. it not Wolf Gang? No can gang. I put a Wolf no. Gang in it? Wolf Gang is um, oh. like a little group of my friends. Okay, right, the right. Wolf Gang. The wolf Gang, all right. No, that's that- not true. <laughs> <laughs> so, Max Denim. Full name, Max Wolf Denim. My, my actual name is Max Wolf Denim. Do you know what's interesting um, about DJs? A lot of DJs will take the coolest part of their name 
and make that their DJ name. And I'm not saying Max and Denim ain't cool. They're cool names, bruv. But Wolf is is out of those three names. Do you know, got to be know one of the coolest is, names. Do you know why I didn't go for that? DJ Wolf. Do you know why I didn't go for that? Why? Because, right, I'm like blonde with blue eyes and I'm not that hairy. Yeah. If I was called DJ Wolf, you would expect a really, really hairy dude. That could be the thing, though. Ha <laughs> ha! Like, I'm not. Oh, what, what's, what's he called? Uh, Tiny Tim. And he was really big. <laughs> uh, that, that'd be great. Or DJ. Little John. Big, he's, big Sean. Big Sean. He's quite Big short. Sean's tiny. He's, like, he's like three foot four or something. Yeah. So in case you didn't work it out by listening, Max Denham, please tell the listener what you do. Tell um, us about you. Basically, I'm, I'm a DJ. Like I mm. go around the country, go around the world DJing, playing records. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, I've been doing it for a, a long time. How like, long now? Um, I probably started DJing like 2005. So... Long time ago, I was a kid, years. and now I'm 27, so I'm probably still a kid. Still a, a kid. lot of people. What made you want to get into DJing though? Um, was it the girls? Is that where it was? Not necessarily. Was it just at, at the time, I yeah. didn't know that that was even like I didn't even know that that was a thing. Like, right. obviously, I knew that it was a thing when I was 15 because that's like I spent a lot of time on the internet, <laughs> 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 like a lot of 15 year olds do. Yeah, but I didn't know that the DJ and girl thing were related. I got misses now anyway. So. Okay. Yeah, so it's all right. It's all right, darling. We're talking about uh, a long time back ago, thirteen years ago. Back yeah, in yeah, the day. yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, no, it wasn't that. That wasn't the initial thing. I don't. I, I don't think anyone should kind of focus on something because of that. Um, I started DJing just because I love music, and there's there's like an art to it. Mm. It's um, it's not just about how you mix two songs. It's about finding different ways. It's like a puzzle. And that's how I've always seen it. So I've always found the art of DJing very interesting. What is your style of DJing? Then? Um, if you see it as an art form, what's your style? My style, well, the genre would mainly be hip hop. Mm -hmm. And I like scratching. I like cutting things up. I like just finding different ways to mix things to other DJs. That's yeah. my style. Different, Okay, I would say. So you, So you, for example, if there's a big tune out there, you'd find a different way to mix it in for the crowd. I'd like to think so, yeah. And what is that different way? Do you like to, to surprise them with it? Do you like to sort of tease them with it? Like, what's your thing? Loops, acapellas, kind of use the intro and playing acapella over the top. Mm. Um, just, yeah, just finding new ways, really. Yeah. And what's it like having a missus being a DJ? Do you need someone that can cope with the copious amounts of attention She's good, you she's get? good, she's good. Because they do get a lot of she's attention, good, yeah, DJs, yeah. don't she they? Comes, she comes with me a lot now, actually. Yeah? yeah. Is that like as a security guard to fend off yeah, the masses? Yeah, um, she punches up anyone that comes in the booth Standard. and asks for a song. <laughs> 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 what I like about you, Max, is that you don't seem like a complainy DJ either. Uh, shout out to all my complainy DJs. There's a lot of people that moan about certain aspects like everybody does get silly requests right yeah if you're of course, a DJ. Of course yeah, yeah but i don't ever see you online you're not you don't come across as someone who's consistently moaning about it why is that bro i'm happy yeah so if you complain about things i think it brings like a negative aspect to your whole life okay i'm happy i'm happy as hell like right there's there's nothing I can really complain about. Job's going good. Yeah. I'm traveling a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm doing well financially. Like, yeah. what have I got to complain about? If someone asks for ABBA, yeah, is that going to affect me? How would you react when, or how do you react when someone like you're in the middle of a hip hop set? I don't know. You're bouncing between some ASAP Ferg. I don't know. You got the big hitter from Drake in the bag, and someone comes along and goes, "Can you play some ABBA?" How do you react to that? Um, be polite. <laughs> say excuse me I don't think this is going to work um, maybe you should go to the 80s bar down the road was Abba, that was way before that wasn't it 80s that's, I'm, I'm, I'm not old enough like. eight, eight, Abba's pre 80s I believe yeah, yeah, I yeah. believe we can or, fact check that though can't we Billy I was born in 1990 so yeah prehistoric um, rap yeah. if you can call it that Abba it was yeah. not rap but you know what I mean yeah it's a bit okay. before me but so to someone that was born in 1990, what's what's old school to you then? Because I, I'm someone now who's, I was born Do you know what? I've realised I am getting old. <laughs> like, I am getting old. Yeah. Like, um, I was talking to someone the other day about like, oh, when we was when we was younger, there was all Ja Rule and there was, there was all these like Ashanti yeah. and stuff like that. And it, it was way better in our day. Like music was so much better. And then I realised like it, it hit me. I was like, I've heard this before. Mm. from like parents and stuff <laughs> and now I'm getting older that's how I feel do you now feel 
that music was better back in the day than it is now. I think everyone in their own head will remember when they were younger yes. and believe that yes. music was better. Yes, exactly. Have you got to that stage yet? Because that is one stage of being old. I'm you old, go, I'm old. So now you're like, you know what? Music's good nowadays, but back in my day, they didn't make tunes they like They were X. making hits. <laughs> Sick. Uh, Max... I think you're a great live DJ. How about the radio game for you? Is that something that interests you? I'd love to do it. I'd love to do it. I've not had many opportunities with the radio yet, but yeah. I'm sure that that will come eventually. 100%. I, I can see you getting picked up at some point over the next couple of years. Where would you want to sit on the on the DJ kind of lineup on a radio station? So if there's a producer listening right now, where would you like to see yourself? Um, Obviously, right, Radio 1, 1 Extra or something like that. Yeah. Uh, aim high. Yeah, yeah, Am good I? stations. Like, where, where, where would you like to be? Like, I, I mean, I feel like you're a Friday night kind of DJ. You could get me ready, ready for the clubs. Yeah, I believe that. I believe that. Yeah, yeah. Good time on radio. Shout out any producers that are listening. <laughs> Holler at me. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Uh, speaking of production, you're not just a DJ, though, are you? Well, I've um, I've spent a lot of time over the last couple of years learning how to make music. Yeah. Um, I've not put anything out yet, but right. there's there's some stuff in the catalogue that. Hopefully he's good to go real soon. What kind of stuff are you making? Mostly like hip hop and stuff, but I mean, I haven't really, where I haven't put anything out yet, yeah. I'm just trying to make anything and everything that sounds good. Like, I've got a good ear. Right. I've got a good ear. I know if I would play something, I'm sure a lot of other people will. So you know what's working in the clubs, so you use that to influence what yeah, you're producing. Yeah, yeah. So do you want to create club music then? Is that club your aim? Club bangers. Club bangers. Club bangers, that's what I want to do. Are you going for that Vegas booking? That 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 Calvin Harris level. I don't doubt for a second that that, that will happen. Like, that that will happen. Okay, that will happen eventually, and yeah. I'm sure you'll be there with me drinking some tequilas, bro. I'll be it's the I'll law. Be tequila. It's the law out there officially in Vegas. You got to drink tequila, bro. So I'll be out there, man. Yeah, man. If there's space on the jet for me, I'll come on the Max Jet. Yep, that's yep. what you need when you got that residency. Yep. I, I fully believe that will I've happen. Got, I've got a plan. We're gonna have we're gonna have like a um, a guy called Alan. His name might not even be Alan. But we call him Alan. Everyone calls him Alan. Right. And he's like a little run around guy. Yeah. So it's like, yo, Alan, get the cheeseburgers. Okay. But there needs to be an Alan. Do you want to be Alan? Nah, I don't want to be Alan. <laughs> I, w- I don't mind being the driver. Like, have you ever watched Entourage? Have you ever watched yeah, that show? Yeah, yeah. I don't mind being Turtle. Yeah. But Turtle, he's like kind of like Alan. Like he'll get stuff, but he kind of like, he-, he does a bit of driving. He gets to drive the cool cars. He kind of gets to chill a little bit. He gets a little bit involved in the fun that gets to go down but he doesn't really have much stress when I get an Alan I'm going to do some dumb stuff what are you going to do with like, Alan I'm going to I'm going to call up one of my friends in like Manchester yeah like, say you're like G2 or someone I'm yeah gonna, right I'm sending Alan yeah <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm sending Alan I'm sending Alan I'm going to I'm going to make a cup of tea yeah in a mug yeah yeah I'm going to um, give him the cup of tea yeah I'm going to go Alan I'm going to get you an Uber right. to Manchester do not spill this tea Wow! How much tea are you gonna give him? Oh, like, all the way to the top. How much all space? the way to the top. At the top, at the top yep. of the mountain, there'll be no space. <laughs> yeah, and you're gonna send the Uber Alan. driver's gonna be stressed because he's like, "Why has this guy got a cup of tea?" Yeah. And he gets all the way to Manchester, and obviously some of it would have spilled. And then um, whoever it goes to at the other end just says, "I don't even want it. It's cold." And and it's not sugary enough as well. No, you send it back and back get two sugars. Sugar. What's what? How would you reimburse Alan for this behaviour though? Like for, for for being such a loyal guy, how would you look after Alan? Well, I can't really have an Alan until I'm like a multi millionaire because okay. of the type of things that I'm going to do. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Alan Alan will get to live the good life. He'll get to come on the jets. He'll get to come on tour buses. You're selling Alan to me, you know. I feel like an, an Alan position could be available for me at some point in the future. Bro, Alan, Alan, do you know what? We're going to hold interviews as well. Okay. Yeah, and um, it's going to be a bit like The Apprentice. Right. We could even make a show out of it. Bro, you could. Alan. Becoming Alan. Alan Prentice. Alan Prentice. Alan Prentice. Why did I not think of that? That's, That's genius. You'd have. And the first test would be you put all the Alans in a room who aren't called Alan and you say, Alan! Come in here, please. <laughs> and the first one in, they get the most points. Second one in, they get less points. And the last one in, they get, you know, they just get fired. Isn't it? You're not an Alan. If you can't, we can't, we can't tell them the name of the show first, either. <laughs> like, so it's just they've got a guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea right so usually we kick off the show talking about how we've been killing some time recently now you you said you've been killing time producing for the listeners out there that don't produce what do you need to be a producer now it's 2018 I presume 20 years ago I felt like everybody felt like they needed a fucking sick studio in Abbey Road 
50 grand's worth of equipment. Saying that, 50 a, lot, members a, lot, of staff. a lot of people back then were just using an NPC. Mm. So a lot of people could get an NPC and a pair of headphones. Like You don't actually need a lot. Um, what do you have for your kit? I've, I've 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 built a studio in my house, but I've okay. got um, like obviously a laptop. I got a new laptop last year. Um, I've got like loads. Of, it's mostly software stuff, really, like plugins. Okay. Um, you need a sound card. You need a good pair of studio monitors. If you want to get people around to record, obviously you need a mic. Okay. Um, so what did you do to build your studio? Was it a, a normal room and you just made it soundproof? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got a normal room. You yep. soundproofed it up by putting like I mean, foamy stuff on the woodwork. walls. I've been learning on YouTube. You've been dealing with woodwork? Yeah. yeah. What did you build with wood? Um, I've built all the acoustic panels, okay. like actual acoustic panels like with a frame and then you put the rock wall insulation in and then cover it in fabric. Okay. But yeah, I've been doing that a bit. So yeah, I'm not a carpenter, but you can learn anything on YouTube, I found. So you've used the powers of YouTube to get your DIY on and, and kit wise, what, what are you using to produce if you don't mind sharing? Um, I'm using Ableton. I've mm -hmm. got some Adam A7 monitors, which okay. are brilliant. Um. I've got like a focus right sound card. Okay. Um and what about do you have a keyboard? Do you have like yeah, a MIDI yeah, I've got, unit? I've got, I've got a MIDI keyboard, it's got a drum pad thing built into it as right. well. So yeah. What one is that, if you don't mind um, sharing? It's actually it's an M Audio one, but it's it's, it's, okay. it's it's not one of the best ones, but it's good enough for me. Okay. Well there's a, you know what, if you're listening and you're wondering like, what are all these numbers and stuff, we'll put it all in the show description in terms of kit wise that what Max uses. But the reason that it's good to ask somebody like Max what kit he uses and the reason you can trust his is is because you've actually got a background in in sort of selling DJ equipment that's, as well, haven't that, you? That's that's what I started doing. Um, yeah, out of school, I, was, I worked at West End DJ. You worked there as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm part of the alumni from West End DJ. Do you know what? None of the originals are there no more. You know? Really? No. Really? Is it no. a total turnover of stuff? Um, as Chris Shaw would call them, Waste Man Joneses. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was like a code word back in the short shop. terminology. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I've got to explain it to everyone. You, you have was, to explain to right, now, right? Um, basically, if someone came in the shop and they were a time waster, or they were an idiot, or they didn't know anything about what they were trying to talk about, um, they were known as a Jones. A Jones. A Jones. Funnily enough, my missus' last name is Jones. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so you're with a Jones right now? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> have you told the West End DJ lot? Because no, I have I a lot to say about that. Chris wow. Shaw would laugh his head off. Wow, Max is with a Jones. Um, but yeah, there were many a Joneses back in the day. Um, but I'm sure there still is. Shout out all the Joneses. Shout out all the Joneses, all the time wasters that want to come in and, and, and not buy anything. But you know what? That's just how it was. But... You were a great salesman. You knew what you were talking about. You even recommended some kit to me at some point. Oh, uh, bro, a lot of that was blagging. Really? Like, oh, it was a blag. Oh, it was a good blag. If, if someone comes in and asks for something, yeah. and I don't know anything about it, <laughs> I'd go down to the stock room and go on Google. <laughs> oh, what does this do? What are these numbers? What's 500 hertz or whatever? Wow. Uh, yeah, you learn it on the spot. and then yeah. yeah. And do your thing. But then, you know for the next person. So. Exactly, exactly. And over time, you actually do become a good salesman. Yeah, so of course, of course. It's good to know what kind of kit you're working with, man. Um, and and you're, so your setup, you spent a lot of time and, and money kind of getting the acoustics right. But kit wise, you've got Ableton, uh, which is uh, it's 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 a uh, quality production software. It's up there with the best of them. Uh, you've got a MIDI keyboard, which from what you said, it isn't like the maddest, most expensive 20, 30 it grand keyboard. It's about 180 pounds or 180 something. 180 yeah. pounds. Um, so a good bit of software, good keyboard and a good room and, and some good speakers. That's what you need to get into yeah, production, course, right? Yeah. And an ear for it and, as well. And, and, and a creative mind. And do you practice a lot? How much are you producing uh, now? I, I spend at least a couple of hours a day. Okay, cool. So I'm working hard. Wicked. Actually, there's a guy called James Hype. He's just had like, a number one in Germany and, and stuff like. Oh wow! Like, he was. I think he was like number eight in the UK charts. But I spent about a year in his studio, just um, just like shadowing him, just learning stuff from him. And uh, yeah, I've learned a lot from him. All right, thank you very so, much, James Hype, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shout out to he's him. Doing, he's killing it. Uh, he's doing really well. He's all over the festivals this summer, everything like that. So, is, is that kind of the direction you want to go in? Do you want to be known as Max Denham producer instead yeah, yeah, of just yeah. Max Denham DJ? Yeah, yeah. I can't go with DJ Wolf. DJ Wolf? No. What about producer name, just Wolf? I, I don't know. Like, I, I kind of, where I've just been Max Denham and everyone knows me as Max Denham now, like, I, yeah. think, I feel like I should carry on with it. Okay. I think cool. it's too late. To and change. If you really know Max Denham and you've experienced some of his DJ sets, you'll call him Max Denham, Max Max Denham. Because <laughs> that's like one of your, like you do say you like to have your own DJ sound. That's one of your, uh, you have a, a sample that you use. It was it MC, it's MC, MC Kai? Kai. Yeah, yeah. With a sample of A lot of people think that I did that, you know. It's not me. It's not me on the mic. No, it's actually a uh, legendary a UK GMC. Yeah, 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 I was Kai. with him on Saturday, actually. Really? How's yeah, he doing? Yeah, yeah. I'm still, still doing bits with him. Yeah. 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 Um, we was at Club 195 in Essex. It was sick. Yeah. It was really good. Oh, wicked, wicked. Really good. 
What have you got planned for the summer, by the way, before we move on? Oh, DJ wise. Loads. I'm not at home in the summer. As as I met you, you were like negotiating a summer deal. So where where are you gonna be then? Yeah, deal's done. I've yeah. got like fifteen dates in Marbella. We've got okay. some in Cavos, I've got one in Malta. Right. Um there's some other stuff as well. I can't even think off the top of my head, but yeah, it's a busy, busy summer. Where can we go to find out where you're gonna be online? Um social media, mm-hmm. like Instagram, Twitter, uh, it's just at Max Denham. Yeah. Um and then I need to update my website because I've actually got a, 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 date, a dates thing in there, but I haven't done it for a couple of weeks. Let's go so. to Max Denham's. What is your website? Let me go to it now. Uh, MaxDenham.com. MaxDenham.com. Simple. I like the way that you've made it easy to find everyone, like yeah. yourself. Some people are like, yes, underscore Max. I'm going on Max Denham's website right now. If you're bored, you know, you can just fast forward. A oh, good website, man. I built that myself. Good YouTube. Logo. YouTube. What did, YouTube. Yeah. What did you build it with? Um, Squarespace. So Squ- Max is a Squarespace user. It's a very solid looking site. Good pictures. Did did Akito do your logo as well? Yes, a good he did. Of yeah, he did. Thank you. Shout out. He's yeah. actually. A, How did another, you know that? Actually, I can tell his uh, production style. So Max Denham's logo is actually produced by another producer. Who's he, I, it's fair to say Akito's Aki- a good. bit of a genius as well. He's, doing he's a good. creative yeah, genius, yeah, though. Isn't he? No, he is. He is. Yeah. Um. So he, and he's like, currently producing. So I call it sub and bass music. Really, that's what he's doing, and he's doing it under. He's doing it under the name Akito, isn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but he's also a really talented artist. And so we're ki- talking about sub and bass. Do you know about brown noise? About brown noise. I'm yet to experience it. <laughs> I want to find the. F- have you? What have you managed to hit your audience with brown noise? That could be as a as a no, DJ no, no. set in my bed. You could try and hit people. <laughs> with some, you know can what? you explain what <laughs> brown noise is, just in case the listener don't know what brown noise is? Um, br- <laughs> one sec, one sec. Brown noise is um, supposed to be a frequency that if you play it loud enough, it makes you shit your pants. Um, I haven't found the brown noise frequency yet, thank God, because it would have made a mess in the studio. But if I ever headline a major festival, Please. I am finding the brown noise frequency and I'm going to make a whole festival shit themselves. What part of the set will you play that in, though? That's what I need to know. Are you going to just intro it with it so everyone's... Fu- or, or are you, you going to fuck up the next DJ by playing it right at the end? Right at the end. Right at the end. Just play a big... <laughs> Stonking brown noise session. Oh, that is right. I've googled brown noise. This is what YouTube's given me. I don't know what this is going to be, Max. Let's see what this is. Please don't play it. This is this is this is one hour and forty in a brown noise. Now nah, that doesn't sound very brown for me, you know. Now nah, that doesn't sound very brown noise. Let's try and find some more brown noise out here. There's. Have you seen the South Park episode when they play it? Yeah, they yeah, yeah, shit yeah. themselves. That's apparently brown. Now nah, that doesn't. I'm not even getting a little... My bum cheeks aren't even twerking right now. Why are you holding your stomach for? Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> but you're you're going to play it in a set. Is that a promise? Right. If I... When, not if, when I headline a major festival, yeah. uh, the last track that I will play will be the brown noise. Sick. You should actually put put that in your in one of your tunes. Right at the end of your <laughs> tune. So you can play your tune and say, it's my last tune. And right at the end, it just goes... And everyone um, shits themselves. Yeah, it'd be brilliant. Wicked. So that's the way you've been killing some time recently. Awesome. Uh, can I tell you how I've been killing some time? Yes, please. Uh, a couple of quick ones. In the last episode, Funk Butcher was talking about how to have Instagram story folders. Did you know that if you like an Instagram post, you don't actually have to just like it. You don't have to um, comment on it if you want to look at it again. You don't have to do some stupid thing and like save uh, where it is by copying a URL. Do you know you can actually create little folders in your personal Instagram and look at them? I didn't know this what until last week. What other people's photos so or if, your photos? So if I find a picture of you, like yeah. online, if I go, I go on to, I'm going onto Instagram right now. I'm going to type in Max Denim. Have you got your iPhone with you? Yeah, yeah. I'll talk you through it right now. You can do this listener as well. Max Denim. I'm typing in Max Denim DJ. Yeah. Okay. Is he following me? Are you following me? I believe Dread. so. Oh, of course I am. Um, so I've clicked on the first post and there's like on the left. Comment yeah. on the middle and there's a little uh, paper aeroplane for share. On the right hand side, there's this little bookmark thing. And if you press it, it says save to and you can save some little folders. Now, apparently certain guys are putting in all of the like, you know, the pictures of the girls that they like to That's see. That's a bit stalkerish though, isn't it? Uh, 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 listen, I only learned about it last week. I only learned about it last week, but uh, we've put a link to that on the website because a lot of people were asking me, bruv, how do I create these secret folders? Yeah. So I can, so I can look, at, look back at these pictures. <laughs> Check these things out. That's one thing that I've been doing. The other thing is is um, so you've ha- been doing that. Yeah, I've been having that practicing. Obviously, uh, practicing like, obviously because Funk told me in it, and I didn't yeah, know how. Yeah. Uh, obviously, moving forward, I don't. Oh, move- let me let me have a look at your folder. All right, go on, go on. I'll open up my folders for you. Uh, here's my it's collections. That's what it is. 
I don't think I've got much oh, going well, on Oh, I, I can see the Caden um, guy <laughs> and a little meme. Um, <laughs> Tyrese. He's like a half-naked man. Nah, he's, he's, he's <laughs> lying I'm now. lying, I'm he's lying. He's fully lying. naked, that guy. He's not half. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's one thing I've been doing. So a couple of listeners have been asking us how we do that. So we thought we'd share that with you. Also, um, a few people have been asking us how to tell your iPhone if your iPhone battery is okay. Because you know your iPhone battery, if it's fucked, it means your phone runs super slow. I've, got, you- I've got a friend called Eddie. You know him. Yep, yep. Yeah. Um, when his battery dies, he goes home. Are you serious? He goes home. So if you're in a social environment... We were at a Crepitec party... Yeah. Um, it was at the Shard and uh, we'd been there for about an hour and a half and he, we, we were having a drink it was all a laugh he goes oh bro you know you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going home I was like has your battery died he was like yeah seriously <laughs> bro he goes home seriously yeah any social environment well I, I've home. experienced that once like, I don't I don't see him that as often as I should but Would, wouldn't someone have a charger though that he could charge his phone off he's an iPhone user yeah yeah, yeah. that's a bit odd that maybe yeah. that was his excuse no, Maybe he had you other know, plans. You know what? At the time, I, he's I had, not really an excuse maker, though, is he? At, at the time, I had two phones. Right. Like, I don't anymore because I got rid of the other one because it was for like international Cause reasons. He's got, and he's got a girlfriend now. Yeah, cool. <laughs> no, 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 not like that. But um, yeah, so I was just like, "You're not going home. If you need anyone, there's my other phone." Right. We stayed out, and then he we did. got we got really drunk, and then he probably should have gone home. To be fair, because um, you got him he might drunk. have had a bad day the day after with um, headache and that how are you finding getting a little bit older now how are you finding the hangover situation oh my Max? god did you when did you realize you, what a hangover was because i didn't realize it was i was like 23 24 oh no i knew i knew what they they were probably like i when i was younger i used to like drink more than i do now yeah so i knew what they were but i mean the hangover thing is it, it is it does get worse as you get older uh, are you on two day hangovers yet no yeah, it happens, I'm, not, I'm not that old yet. When you hit that 3 0, Max. Really? That that's two, coming two day soon hangovers. As well. Two, two day hangovers. Yeah, so it's like you'd, you'd have a heavy one. Say you're DJing on the, on the Friday and Saturday and you have a heavy one. Wake up on a Sunday, you're fucked. Monday, you're like, bruv, I'm still fucked. And that's a two day hangover, bro. Is there not anything you can take for that? Probably. I think I, You know what? I can't wait until we have that thing that they have in the States where the nurse comes over and kind of brings what? you back. They have this thing where the nurse comes over and kind of gives you like an IV to hydrate you, some painkillers. You're joking? No, nah, not at all. What, not at all. Who's paying for that? It's a private jobby over there. Oh, okay, over, okay. Yeah, it's not on the NHS here. Fuck now, nah, come on, mate. Like, nah. <laughs> you know, people getting fucked up on a Monday night and just going, it's all right, I'll go to hospital and fix myself. Therese, up. Theresa May's making cutbacks on the hangover nurses. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She just cancelled the whole NHS. <laughs> uh, the other thing is, yeah, I've been checking out if my battery's all right. Please whip out your iPhone. Have you yep. updated it recently? Are you a guy that keeps your phone up to date? I, d- I think there's one update left to do. I, I, I keep getting the thing, you know, it goes, oh, I'm going to do this overnight, but then I'm always awake at night, so All it's right, never cool. the right time. All right, well, we'll move on from this. I'm quickly. on 100% battery, though. You are on 100%. It means your battery's doing what? When did you get that phone? About three years ago. No, not a three years. Actually, I've smashed about five of them. Oh, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, this this one's an ins- I've got this one on the insurance. They cancelled my insurance. Why? Because I smashed like five phones. <laughs> How did I you smash have, I don't have phones. a case on my phone. I don't like it. I feel like if Steve Jobs invented the iPhone, it was like ergonomically for your hand. Yeah. So why are you going to put a case on it? Because people... Well, five five smash phones later, Max, I think you've answered your own question there. Why yeah, would you put a case that, that, on that's it? The, that's, that's a design fault from Apple, I think. Yeah. You made your phone out of glass. Maybe it's a market employee for people like you. They're you like, see yeah, Nokia five thirty three tens, yeah. Yep. Talking about battery life. Yeah. That Nokia battery thirty three ten. Yes. J- this we're getting old. We're getting old. <laughs> we are getting old. Oh, but it was better back in my day. Your phone used to last for six days. Your phones were better back in my day. You could only save ten text messages or thirty text messages to your phone. You could have like a hundred numbers, but you had snake. Oi, oh oi. And if you're really, really down with it and you really had a bit of extra money to spend on your phone, you had Snake 2. I never read that. Yeah, I had, no. I had Snake 2, bro. Snake 2, what was the difference? Two. Had, oh. like, had graphics. Yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in yeah, inverted I commas, I had graphics. I did yeah. have Snake 2. And, um, 
Well, that, that, that was like one of the greatest games of all time. That's got to go down there with like Pong and yeah, and Pong. Oh my god, that is old Max. Pong, that Pong. is old Max. Anyway, I won't bore you on the show with how to check your phone battery, but it's real simple. It takes two seconds. We've put a link to it in the show description. If you're asking how to do it, please check that, and you can check out if you need to go to Apple and say, "Listen, you motherfuckers, give me a new phone." Because if your battery is not in shape and it's under twelve months old, you can get yourself a new phone. Simples, yeah, that's how you do that. I think um, we should start a new phone company and call it Orange. Ready been done, mate. Sorry, serious, yeah. Sorry about that. Bro. Orange, yeah. Sorry, who did that? The the mobile phone providers, Orange Service Providing. <laughs> <laughs> Orange, yeah, it's a network, yeah, yeah. yeah. There oh, you go. No, we've got to think of it. banana, um, banana phones. That was a thing. <sighs> Nokia's already got that, though, innit? Yeah, already, we're brought out again. What could we have for a phone? Kumquat. Come quite nice too. It sounds it's a funny se- word though. It sounds sexy. It sounds exotic. Yeah, it sounds exotic. Ah, uh, come quite. No, I don't know. Tanger- no, tangerine's too close. Uh, Why is there so many different types of oranges? I don't think you need that many oranges. There's very many types of oranges. I don't know, Max. I don't know. What is your favourite type of orange? A clementine. A it sounds clementine. really posh. Clementine. It's like orange for rich people. It is. Yeah, orange for the higher class. Yeah. Yeah. All right, clementine. Uh, tangerine, clementine. What about apricot? Is that's not that's that's not an orange? Oh no, I was thinking about the phone network. Oh, oh, oh we just with apricot. Nah, eggplant. Nah, that could work because you got eggplant. the emoji. The symbol could yes, be the emoji. That would be sick. If you be like, what network are you, are you on? You just send them eggplant, aubergine, <laughs> as we say over here in England. Uh, couple of more ways we've been killing some time let's just smash through these max i went over to um a convention called egx res so egx is this big computer game conven- convention they used to hold it in london now they hold it in birmingham every year so like the biggest games are there every single year now res is one that they hold down at the tobacco docks and it's basically just like loads of smaller indie games but there are also some other big titles down there as well anything um, exciting yeah there's this game called on rush now as a man who feels like they're getting older what driving games did you play? Did you play any driving games where you could beat up other people like Road Rash when you were younger? Anything like that? My, Road Rash? The, um, Mario Kart was the, Mario the Kart? favorite one, N64. Okay, that all right. That was brilliant. Uh, yeah, that's my favorite Mario Kart of all time, yeah, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And I am an official black belt in that game. Really? Ma- like, I don't give big talk about any games, but as Billy the producer has experienced when he tried to give it the big talk with the new Mario that came out on the Switch, I am a serious done out here. What are you saying, Bill? You lost last time, actually. I lost a lot. R- really? Really? Me and Funk beat you. You and Funk against me beat me once and I beat you twice because everyone would expect you what, to win what, again. What you like at FIFA? Uh, yeah, it depends. I'm all right. Are you Ooh. good at FIFA? Do you know what? I, um, I'm a fluky FIFA player. I'm, right. not, I'm not good at FIFA. Right. I'm not good. But I will beat people sometimes. Yeah, that's what I'm like. But I'm not exciting. When you play me, <coughs> I'm like, the game's like cool. Like somebody might beat me like 1-0. But it's never like 7 nil yeah, or 7 yeah. 1. I'm not crying. Sometimes <coughs> I feel good about myself. I'll put it on amateur level and play the computer. All and the time, bro. Like 10 beat Yeah, like 10. and then take pictures. And then you're like, yeah, I'm sick of FIFA. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'm not really. <laughs> oh, so, shit, sorry. Rez. So at Rez, uh, there's this game called On Rush, and it's like a combination of Mario Kart, because you can get power ups, yeah, and you tur- have loads of turbos for your car, and Road Rash, and kind of. It's there's, it's really hard to explain because there's nothing like it, but it's like an arcade style game where you smash the shit out of other cars. Yeah, your car is boosting all the time. And once you hit enough boost, you get this mode called rush mode. And basically, when you put Lost. rush mode on, it's like someone's giving you a star in Mario. Someone's put a, a frigging massive grill on the front of your car. And you, uh, yeah, it's like super NOS and you can smash yeah. up everyone. Oh, you that was like fun. Need for Speed game? Back yeah. in the day, you know, on PS, PS2. That's it, yeah. It's kind of like yeah. Need for Speed, but you can you smash I didn't have a console for years. I didn't have a really? console for years. I missed out a whole PlayStation. Why, like, why not? Was he, when, were you too busy DJing? Pretty much, but like when I was younger, I think need uh, not Need for Speed. Um, GTA, GTA came out. San Andreas, favorite and, one. Yeah, um, go on. I was in school then, and Get I remember old. one weekend. <laughs> yeah, go on. Um, I literally got that. I got that game. Yeah, and I played it and completed it over a weekend, and then I realised I have not done a thing in the last couple of days. Yeah, I've just been sitting in this room playing something that doesn't mean anything to my life. Right. And then I never played PS2 again after that. And then recently, I got a PS4 because I was bored. 
Okay. Do you think that that this obsessive nature of yours is why you're so successful? Hundred percent. Will stick to something. Hundred percent. So when are you planning you on know, becoming you know, a professional you know, PS4 you know, player? Do you know how obsessive I am? Yeah. Like, if I have a plate of food, yeah. Even if I'm full up, I'll finish it because it's, it's. I have to finish it. Really? Yeah. Very British of you, bruv. Very British of you to finish your plate. I'm like that as well because I'm greedy, man. So, are you, do you think if now that you have a PS4, you will be tempted to play a lot of PS4? What are you playing on I the was, PS4? I, I was, I was playing it a lot. There's, oh, do you know what? There's this, there's this game. Do you remember Banjo-Kazooie on N64? Yeah, yeah. You know, the same people that made that uh-huh. have made a game <laughs> called uh, Ukulele. Right. And it's basically Banjo-Kazooie, but a different character. On the PS4? Oh, my God. I played that, like, non-stop till I completed it as well. That was brilliant. That was, that's the best game I played on PS4. And that's Ukulele? Ukulele. All right, we'll put I'll, a link I'll, to that. I'll, I'll, I'll lend you it. I'll lend you it. Oh, cool. Can we put a link to that in the show description, Bill? Yeah. Do you know what? It's, it's, <laughs> it's, one, it's one of them games. Like, you, you'd see it in the shop, and you'd yeah. think, oh, no, this is whack. But then I was researching what's like Banjo-Kazooie, because that was my favourite game when I was younger. Listen. You like what you like, it's mate. Brilliant. Uh, it. Another game that we tried was Planet Alpha. <clears throat> it's this game. It's like a two D scroller, so it's kind of like you know Sonic the Hedgehog, Mario, whatever. But it's like on the PS4, be out on Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. It looks really nice. But you go through your levels. You have to jump on things, climb on things, get to the end of the level is the main thing. But what's interesting is is that by pressing R one and L one, you change the time. And at night time, the environments change and at daytime, the environments change. So to get through certain levels, it has to be like twilight or late or it has to be daytime. But obviously, when it's daytime, there's certain things that are dangerous. And when it's nighttime, there's other things that are dangerous. That's another game. I had a little go on it. Sick. When we get more info of it on it, we'll share that as well. Another thing we've been doing to kill some time is Billy got his go on a uh, something called a free doodler. A three is it with is it a number three doodler? I think it's called three D doodler. A three D doodler. Can you explain to Max what a three D doodler is? I think I've seen that. Is it like a pen and you can like draw cubes and stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen 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 that. that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, Billy got his his hands on one. I don't don't even think it's out yet. It's called the hex bug bug version. Hex bug version. Yeah, you can make like a bug, and you still got little motors on it, so you can just draw around the motor and then turn it on, and it'll scurry across the um table. What What was it like to use? It was fairly easy. It bit, there was a slight learning curve, but it was fairly easy. And what's it like building stuff with hot glue? Like, for me at school, the, my memories of hot glue was burning myself. Really, Do you remember, did you ever get PVA glue and put it all over your hand and then you peel it off? Yeah, or you'd go to the girls, oh, look, I'm dying. Like, ah! I know, never did that one. Fucking but... with you. <laughs> <laughs> Standard, man. Uh... All the time. W- were you the kid at school that ate the glue? There's I, don't, always I, don't, I, don't <laughs> I don't think I was. Okay. Uh, All right. Cool. I, I remember there was a thing about about people used to sniff Pritt stick and say that they were getting higher, but you don't get that. High does off not stick. get you it high. Doesn't work. That does not get you high. There was always one. I think it was Jay at my school that ate the glue. Did you eat the glue, Billy? <laughs> no. Did you know? Was there a kid in your class that ate the glue? No. Really? Yeah. I, there was. All, I swear, in every class, there's someone that eats the glue. What about you, Max? No. I can't remember people doing that. It's always, I think, a weirdo J man eating the glue. Anyway, so this free doodler bill, like, so what, so how does it work? Did you just freestyle or did you, were there like molds and stuff? There was a mold you can use, or you can do a freestyle, just depends on what you fancy. Yeah. You just, you just uh, draw in it. And it's, it's not hot. Well, it is hot, but it's just warm. It's not, you're not going to burn yourself. Yeah. It's, it's meant for kids, so you're not going right. to burn them. So kids aren't going to be out there like gluing their fingers together by accident. Nah, nah. All right, nah, cool. Nah. All right, that's good. That's good. And uh, the final product. How good were you at 3D doodling? Uh, I'd give myself a five or six out of ten. A five or six out of ten, yeah? It wasn't, All right, cool. It wasn't great, but it wasn't poor. <laughs> if you want to check the final thing, where do we go to? Like the show description again, show right? Show description, yeah, there's a, there's a little YouTube kid. video of the little monster thing that I made. It's, 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 it's all right. It's all right, but for the age group and stuff, it's designed for the right people like in terms of kids, right? So it's not like an adult. Because that was, honestly, my main concern when I f- heard about hot glue was that it was going to be something that wasn't safe, but it's safe, yeah? Yes, yeah, so for kids, it's really, really good. It's, it's they, they can they can just design whatever they want. So where you're drawing on a bit of paper, they can actually make things in 3D you can see. Yeah. Might take a bit of learning to code. You might have left an adult with them, but there was also an adult version of this. So you can, inside the plastic... You can make condoms with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. Inside the plastic, there is copper and metal and wood, like shards of metal and wood. Yeah. And you can design other things other than like bugs and stuff. Okay. There, there, is an adult, there is an adult version. Max, what would you make if you could create anything with a 3D doodler? Um, I don't know. <coughs> uh, 
What would I design if I had a 3D doodler? Probably just like a hat that no one's got. Sick. Like a top hat. Sick. And everyone be like, where'd you get that hat from? I'll be like, yeah. Custom. You can't get this. Custom made. One of one. Custom fitted. Yeah. One aways, yeah? One away. I might glue. But the only problem is, yeah, if yeah, it's not glue and you're doing it, you have to build it off of your head. Because if you did it on your head, it's going to fuse to the hairs and that. And it's probably not smart to make a hat out of a 3D doodler. But then you'd never head. have to take that hat off. You could wear that hat <laughs> for life. For bald people, brilliant idea. You could glue a trim onto somebody. <laughs> a toupee, yeah. You could glue a toupee. Oh my God, you could just do hairs. Strand by strand. That's Take brilliant. a while. That would be sick. Genius. There we go. You heard it here first on How to Kill an Hour. A Them glue, hair a transplants are quite expensive. Just get a 3D doodler. Yeah, man. I, I met uh, Actually, I met a geezer from my gym the other day who had no hair. And he got the hair transplant where it's, it's, I don't know, I don't know how it works specifically, but I know that if you've got bald in patches, they take bits from the back of your head. When you have no hair, surely they must take it from someone else, like right? bum or something. But I, the hair that he had looked so young. It looked like, it would look like a six-year-old's trim, bruv. It looked really, like so that strong. really wispy and... It was, no, no, <sighs> maybe six-year-olds are wrong. It was like a 10-year-old trim. It was like super, like the hair was just... There was no signs of it falling back. It was like he'd just grown his first barnet. And he'd, I'd not seen him. He'd stayed out of the gym for like three months. I saw him. I was like, do I say nothing or do I say something? I looked at him. I was like, it's that, it's you like got it. your fucking hair done. It's wow. like, like an elephant in the room. It's like yeah. everyone notices it, but no one can say anything. But why? Yeah. Like, I, I thought I'd be silly if I didn't. I feel like people are getting too much done to themselves now. Like, There's a... What, like, what, what, it's what's Instagram, the, what's, isn't it? What's the latest thing? Because Max, you know, you do a lot of parties. So you do... In that party environment, you do see a lot of girls that have modified themselves and guys that have modified themselves. Girls are getting everything what, done. What are you seeing? What's the most common thing that guys and girls are doing now? Um. Well, girls... Like, boobs, like, lips... Like hair transplants, like e even guys are getting stuff done now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's crazy. What guys are getting lips and that done? I hope not. Wow. Okay. I hope not. Are you are you a fan of that kind of look or not? Like, because you're around um, it a lot. Are you honestly, you kind of no. I prefer natural. I prefer natural. I prefer, yeah? natural yeah. I prefer natural as well. Like people find that quite peculiar. I've, when I say I've that got to a them. thing. I think that confidence is like confidence is the most attractive thing that someone can have so yeah. if you're comfortable being yourself I think you'll outshine other people who aren't I believe in that I think that's true and do you think sometimes not in all cases because everyone's different do you think sometimes that if somebody has got all of this work done it's a sign that maybe they're not confident within themselves yeah I, I, I don't think if, if, you're, if you're not confident then that is definitely something that you would do to try and make yourself confident but saying that if it does make you confident then it's worth getting done but I feel like some people think, right, I'm not confident. I'm going to get my lips done and now I'm confident. I'm like, that might not solve your confidence issues. Probably like, not. It's, it might be a bit deeper than that. Yeah. Like I used to be a bit like, I used to I used to feel like if somebody had a lot of that stuff done, I used to, I used to rate them less. I used to be like, you're a fucking dickhead. Why would you do that? But now I'm like, I understand because you weren't happy with yourself. So you had to go and change yourself. It, it, well, and I'm not saying I'm not going to get shit done in the future. Like, fuck it, man. I might get tits. What? <laughs> I, might, I, might, I might fucking want tits. So I'll get some tits in it. I'm not happy with the size. I want a D cup. So I might go and get it done. So yeah. D cup. That'd be, that'd be well fun. Like, just in front bro, of the mirror. Think about that, bro. I could, have, I could play with my tits whenever I wanted. Yeah, but then you've got to buy bras and stuff. I, I probably, I, it's probably not a good idea, Mark. If I'm paying four bags for tits, <laughs> I don't want to have to wear a bra. I want the pertiest motherfuckers. <laughs> If anything, if but, I'm wearing a bra but, with fake but, tits, I want to take the bra and they go up. I that, don't want to go that, down. The only problem with that, yeah, yeah, is people might just think you've put on loads of weight. Like, oh, you see Marcus, he's got mad man boobs. Nah, I make sure that I'm ripped. I make sure that I'm gymming <laughs> and I make sure that everybody fucking knows <laughs> I've got get fake get tits. Get Peter Andre, do you remember everyone uh, yeah. said that his, his uh, six pack was plastic surgery? Yeah. I don't think that was true. I don't think that was true. <laughs> I think Pete, Peter Andre always had the sickest six pack, man. Like, he, he was Look, the six are you pack. checking people was out? A, that was a six pack that I wanted because I'm, I'm, I'm not, I, don't, I can't get six. I can have the best I've done is like, Slight definition, yeah. In my head, one day I'd love to have a, a, a six. Who, who six was pack. the mysterious girl? No one ever found out. It definitely was not Katie, Katie Price. Price. Nah. Definitely was not Katie nah. Price. She's not very mysterious. Nah. She puts her whole life on, She's, on, uh, on the internet. What's the opposite of mysterious? That's what she is. Definitely. Definitely that. Anyway, one more thing that we've been killing some time with before we get onto what's cracking on in the world, Max. Phillips have brought out something called a one blade body edition. Prince Philip. 
Philips the the electronics company, not Prince Philip. Oh, okay. Pr- Prince Philip. Yeah, uh, he's getting a bit old, don't he? Getting a little bit old for that. And also thinning on the top. He can. He has enough money to do that. Obviously, is it just the real thing to not get your hair done? Is it a real thing to be balding? <laughs> is that just? Co- is that? Is it not cool if I've he got, gets plugs? I, I read something uh, yesterday. Yeah, and it was. Um, what do you call, what do you call your grandma? Granny. Granny. Right. Would, would, Prince William. Yeah. Yeah. When he was little. Yeah. He couldn't say granny. Right. So in the royal family, the yeah. queen was known as Gary. No Google way. It, Google it. Google it. Um, Billy, can you Google this now, please? Can we? I'm going to Google this at the same time. Queen Gary. No, queen Prince, Prince William used to call the queen Gary. Gary and it stuck. That's her nickname. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Why one of the queen's nickname is Gary. But, but we, we can't call her that, though. You can't say, you're right, granny. We can't say, we could never say it, but in the royal household. Wait, like Gary. All right, Gaz. <laughs> <laughs> no, I reckon the chefs are saying that while they're in the kitchen. What are you doing? Oh, I just saw it out of Gaz's dinner. Like, Gaz Gaz wants some steak again. Wait, like Gary's well moody. Oh, fucking hell, Gary's right on one today, man. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Gary. <laughs> random fact? Yeah, go on. No, that was the random fact. Oh, that was a random yeah. fact. Oh, I thought you were going to give me one more random fact. No, uh, no, I've got another one. If you oh, want yeah, go on, go on, go on. You can burn 150 calories an hour. Yeah. By banging your head against the wall. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> go. Hey, you have try you, tr- it. you, have try you it. tried it? I haven't, but I, I, I think that everyone at home should probably give it a go. You don't need to go to the gym. Just bang your head against the, the wall. How many bangs? <laughs> how, how many, many can bangs? You, how many can you do in an hour? Yeah, how to kill an hour? Yeah, how to kill an hour? So, oh, I don't how know. to kill an hour and how to kill your brain cells? Yeah, that I'm worried. I'd be worried about the amount of brain cells that I lose as well with with that as well. well have you got another? Are you like Max with the facts? No, but do, do you know what? You don't have to worry about um, killing the brain cells because uh, you can get brain cells from eating like fish and stuff. Yeah. So as long as you're not vegan. Yeah, right. Just eat loads of fish, then you can bang your head against the wall, and you 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 make them back. Would you have the tuna before? Or I'm just going to presume the fish is tuna. You're going to have the tuna salmon. You're going to have the fish before or after? I don't think case. it really can matters. You, can you top up your brain cells, <laughs> then smash them out, or because you, you might forget to have the fish? <laughs> That's a good point. If you he- headbutt the wall first, I'm just saying, Max. I'm just saying. Uh, anyway, yeah. So Philips, the electronics company, they come up with this shaver called a One Blade, right? And it's called the face and body, right? And basically, the cool thing is about the one blade is that it you can get a bit of water on it. It's waterproof or water resistant. No, it's actually waterproof, actually. I've had mine in the shower. Um, and you can edge with it. So you can shave around the edge of your beard if you've got one. And the whole thing last year or the year before. When did it come out, Billy? Was it the year before last or last year? I think it might be the year before last. The year before last. The whole thing about it, Philip said, was to not... Do anything other than shave your face with it. It's a face shaver. Now, this is what my genuine reaction was on How to Kill an Hour after I'd had a go on the Philips shaver. This is me describing my shave to Frank Butcher. So I just started working the face. <laughs> Four, let me try the arm. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, clean off the arm. It's nicely. And I was just like, and I moved on. A little bit of chest. <laughs> and I looked down. Ooh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when that's the basement, you're missing out on a trick, Phillips. You need to market that as the one blade defeat, like the one blade for everything. <laughs> that's what it needs to be. Yeah, that's the holiday shaver, <laughs> and you need to get one for girls as well. I was yeah. smooth as a baby's bottom. Okay, was, so but but it wasn't all the way close, in it. Okay, and you can choose levels too. Yeah, yeah. But I literally, I, I swear, I'm gonna shave my toes, bro. If it's designed for faces, cool. Use it for that. But for me, I'm gonna be using it everywhere. You can hear the rest of that on episode 35, but I literally said, Phillips, this is a shaver that you could use to shave everything from head to toe. The, the, the reason why I don't think they would do that is because it's like, not a lot of people would probably want to shave their pubes and then use the same blade on their face. Well, it's got interchangeable heads, Max. Uh, That's the thing. So you just have one on the left. <laughs> don't get it mixed up, mind. Don't get it mixed up. One on the left for like the top Because then off. you might go to the to bar or something and everyone's like, what's that on your chin? You're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want balls on your face. You do not want balls you on your face. If you're not somebody who's a fan of balls on your face, you don't want your own balls on your face. You know, who wants balls on their face, man? Well, some people do, but whatever. They um, could call it They could call it the back sack crack and face shaver. But, but they've now called it the face and body. Now, face and body. all I'm saying is, Max, Billy and I went to the Phillips event and I went there and I asked for my 20%. What do you think Philip said? T- what, do you, what do you mean 20%? I wanted my 20 I wanted my cut, bruv. I was a year and a half ago. I said, this is for shaving balls with. And now they're calling it 
the the one blade face and body and what the difference is between this uh, this one and the other one is they've actually got special attachments on it so that you don't accidentally nick your gooch oh because bruv <sighs> you ever one done place that? yeah man yeah <laughs> yeah i've got to be real bruv the, I know someone who works at West End DJ, yeah, once had to have a day off. They had to have a day off. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You know V? Do you remember V? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, is it still called? It used to be called something else. But uh, Imac. Imac. Right. Imac v. v. Just explain what that is to right, listen in case they don't use it. hair removal cream. Yeah. And you, you spray it on and then after about 10 minutes or whatever it you get in the shower the hair. and it all just drops off yeah the hair just um, falls off so I'm not naming any names but someone that used to work at the shop yeah um, they were like oh where's where's <laughs> 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 not naming any names <laughs> I was about to say uh, where's we were like where's and um, Chris was like oh um, he had a bit of an accident go on what, what was the accident right so what he's done is he's put the Imac V on his um, on his ass, oh. and he's left it on for too long. Ah, uh, what happens when you leave Imac or V on for too long? Well, I've never done it, but apparently he had had a layer of skin missing off of his ass. Shit! Oh man! I think he fell asleep or something, and then he, he couldn't sit down for like a couple of days, so he couldn't come in to oh. shop. And this is why you need something like a Philips one blade in your life. 100%. So you can trim that shit. And now it's got the special added like attachments which help you get close as you can to the contours of your body space. And also it's got a little attachment for your special areas. I'm happy, Philips, that you've got these now. But all I'm saying is, I, do you think I deserve a little 20%? Uh, probably like one percent. All right, I'll take a one percent. Do lot, I believe it? Believe what? Do you think one percent is a bit low, Bill? One percent is a why, stupidly why low. All right, ten percent. Think about how big more. Phillips is. Like, that's 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 yeah, that's but it's twenty-five percent. Uh, but I want my twenty percent, man. No, but anyway, yeah, that's the one blade. Um, oh, one more thing we've been uh, playing is VR version of Planet of the Apes. Uh, there's a VR game called Crisis on the Planet of the Apes. It's fucking jokes. You get to be an ape. You get to shoot some. Um, I've never played a VR game ever in your life. Nope. We'll get you on that after the show. Brilliant. We'll, oh, we'll, good, we'll, good, put good. Up, we'll put that up on How to Kill an Hour. Uh, so basically, in between... Have you watched the Planet of the Apes films? Kind of know the story? Um, I saw the first one years and years ago. Well, no, the remake one, not the original. Yeah. Okay. I've, I've never seen the originals. I've seen like one of the newer ones. Okay, so in between the, fir the first two films that have come out this time around, the ones that you've seen, the crisis of the Planet of the Apes, that's where this VR experience falls in. So basically, humankind and apes are at a crossroads. Apes are getting cleverer. Humans are kind of trying to find this cure to a disease. But this is a VR game which kind of gives you the experience of uh, one of Spear. That's his name. He's an ape and he wakes up in captivity. And throughout the VR game, you have to use your aping skills to escape some humans. Uh, my favorite part of the VR experience was picking up an AK-47 as a chimp and absolutely spraying it all over the place. And also, um, the, the mechanics of how you have to walk, you actually have to do a monkey-like walk to get around in the game. Played that, that's jokes. Check the video for that on howtokillanhour.com and in the show descriptions. Anyway, Max, that's all the ways you've been killing time this week. Fucking loads. But um, iTunes, Max, is going to go, apparently. What do you mean? Oh, it's got Apple Music. iTunes it? as we know it may go right how how do you feel about this rumor because there's a there are rumors that are so strong that apple have been forced to give a statement in which they've said short short and sweet it's not true yet how do you think itunes disappeared because i think it's eventually going to go how do you think itunes not being around is going to change i don't things? think it's a bad thing everyone's everyone's streaming music everyone streams music we're getting old yeah. it's like saying they, they had this conversation years ago about oh <laughs> Everyone's moving over to CDs, <laughs> tapes. They're, yeah. they're, like, they're out. Yeah, and it happens. It's yeah. it's, it's, it's natural progression. Mm. So I don't think that's a bad thing. As a DJ, how do you think this will affect you and other DJs? Um, I don't think it will. If you could only like say they set like say MP3 dies right, so the next time you want to have a tune and play it out you have a streaming service with all your tunes on it and connect to Wi-Fi. Like I a, think, a hard drive in the cloud. I think that um, certain DJ companies like Serato, yeah. they'll, uh, they'll probably be working on that already. Yeah. I think there'll be like an integration with Spotify or something like that, yeah. which makes it a lot easier because you've got access to everything. But you'll probably have to... Um, you'll probably have to have everything like offline downloaded, mm. which... 
Yeah, I, I don't think it's a bad thing. I what, think how would you I, feel I about I it? I don't think it's going to kill the DJ. Like, I, I think there'll just be a different way of doing it. How do you think? Because obviously, you have versions of tunes that are just for you, right? I presume you have certain edits of tunes that you've tweaked your own way because you've got production skills. If there was a version where it was all on the cloud and you could put your special version of tunes as well as having everything else that's out there in the cloud, all up there, you just walk up to a club, log in, and DJ, would you be cool with that? Uh, can anyone else play that song as well, or do you have to have access? Or I re- I reckon it'd be a log. If it was going to happen, it'd be a login service. So you go and you yeah. log in, Max, blah blah I, I, blah, I, I put think, in your password. I think, that, I think that, well, the way that I'd see it going is all DJ softwares will still have the MP3 integration, so you could record something back and then make your edit and then put it back in your Swaro as an MP3. Okay, so, so you do yeah. you think the DJ will still need an MP3 at some point, or would like an MP3 at some point? I think point? The, I think that the software and everything will still have that in there because obviously okay. you've got back catalog as well. Uh, yeah, I hear that. So, do you use do you use iTunes, Apple Music, or Spotify? I've got Tidal. Yeah, yeah how yeah, do you yeah. find Tidal? I, I'm not I, a Tidal I really user. Like it. I really like it. They do a lot of good documentaries and stuff. Um, they do like little series on uh, series on musicians and stuff like that. So there's like a documentary on Future. There's one on DJ Mustard. Yeah, and it's um, yeah, I think it's really good. Also, the reason why I got it was because um, originally uh, Kanye's album, um, The Life of Pablo. Yeah, you could only get it on that. Right. So when that dropped, I signed up, and oh, right. I've, I've 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 stuck on it since there. So you're a big Yeezy fan, then? Oh, yeah, I so love Kanye West. So that exclusivity swung you over. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Wow. Wow. And uh, so what if I didn't have the life of Pablo? I wanted that album. Okay. So when you're at the gym now, uh, obviously you like. <laughs> I ain't been for a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So when you're out and about listening to music, walking down the street, is t- is title like your go to thing, or if you're at home streaming, are you is it always title you're using, or are you listening back listening back to MP3s? MP3s. Really? Mostly. If I'm if I'm travelling, I'm on a plane or I'm on a train or something, then yeah, I'll listen to Tidal, and then I've got my offline content with my playlists and stuff like that. All right, cool. How so? Do you think eventually you just you said yeah before, but just double check. You think eventually iTunes in its format is not going to exist anymore. MP3s is only going to be a tool for DJs. I don't think they've got any DJs. need for it anymore. Yeah, I don't think they need it. It's it's the the the, the mass market um, way of consuming music now is streaming. Mm, mm. How do you listen to music? Spotify. Exactly. If I'm on Spotify, once in a while I'll download obviously a Max then a mixtape. Get me. I'll listen to one of those. Yeah. But I'll. But then to be fair, if I'm honest, Max, I'll stream. Yeah, man. Stream. I'm, a, I'm a streamer. If I'm going to listen to anything, I stream it. Obviously, new music still comes into my accounts, into my email via MP3 because that's the way that they plug stuff to keep, you know, stop everyone from getting their hands on it by sharing links. But I feel like, yeah, man, it's going to be a streaming thing. I would be very cool with walking into a club. When when Wi Fi becomes that reliable, if it ever does, I'd be cool with walking into a club, logging into my account, and just DJing from there, and then you know, logging yeah. off afterwards. Yeah, nothing to carry in it. You just got to yeah. walk, walk with your two dry hands and a pair of headphones. Yeah, but then how do you get into the club? Uh, oh, I'm the DJ. No, you're not. Where's your stuff? <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> you can't bring in mates now as well. Random mates. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah he's DJing as well. He's holding Joe, bags. Joe, I, I, I do, you, you know that dodgy bouncers like one yeah. like, power trip. Yeah. Yeah. I, I went up to a club like this was a couple of weeks ago, and um, behind him there's a poster with me on it. Like, yeah. Floor like that like, huge poster, bigger than me. Yeah. yeah. And um, he was like, "Oh no, last entries at two o'clock." I'm like. Bro, look behind you. Yeah, <laughs> where where in the UK was that? Uh, I think it was Birmingham. Okay, cause I got done like that in Manchester. Yeah, I, yeah, I never yeah. got let in for half an hour. What do, you, what do you think of these? Like, what do you think of like bouncers? Uh, I think I think they've got a fucking hard job because they deal with dickheads a lot of the time because it's their job to bounce away. Like the normal customers that just come and queue. They don't. They don't make bouncers what they're like. But I reckon years and years. Yeah, but there's there's always one dickheads. or two that that, 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 that they they just got to stick up their ass before you even get there. I don't, I don't know, man. I I can only presume it's the dickheads that they've had beforehand. Because every if everyone was like us, yeah, normal people. Hello, you're right, mate. Coming in, go in, have a good time, and leave. If everyone was like that. One, we wouldn't need bouncers. Two, bouncers that were there, they'll be super cool. It must be the dickheads. It must be dealing yeah. with so many... Imagine you worked on customer services on the phones and everyone you spoke to, hello, you're a fucking cunt, <laughs> hung up. Hello, you're a fucking cunt. Hello, when you picked up the phone on the thousand, thousand time, you'd be like, what? What do yeah, you I fucking you want? Be, yeah, you're right. You're that's right. That's what I reckon. I, I, that's how I feel, but... I don't know, but I have met some bouncers and I'm like, fucking oh, mate, you need to chill the fuck out. Uh, but yeah, I've not been let into a club that I'm, I was hosting it, yeah, and I was on a poster and they were like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was like, but 
<laughs> but I'm, bro, I'm, I'm, here, I'm here to work. <laughs> I'm here to work. They're like, oh yeah, sorry, it, sorry. All right, all right, cool. I just, I just, I'll go to another club. Shall I? Then as I was walking away, someone came back and said, oh sorry, no, 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 no. Yeah, me. And then obviously I took off my mask and they saw it was me. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> So, have you heard about this whole Facebook hack thing, Cambridge Analytica, Max, where people's I Facebook haven't. data has been going uh, a little bit in? Uh, in it's been, it's been uh, flying around in places. I that don't it shouldn't really have. use Facebook no more. Do you not? No, you don't. Not even nah. to promote yourself. I, Twitter and Instagram, they're, 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 that's, that's what's swapping for me. But okay. Facebook is, I don't know, it's a bit, a bit old now, isn't it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> What you don't feel like it serves you? Do you remember back in the day and you used to poke people and you oh, used to yeah. put all your photos on it? I love. I, we all love a good poke. We all love a good old poke. Well, all right. I'll explain this to you because you, you there is actually a way to check this out, Max. So basically, there was an app called This Is Your Digital Life. Did you ever play this app? Ever? Have you ever heard of this? No. Then you're probably safe. But a lot of people played it, right? 270 thousand people played this app. But as a result, all of the data of the people that took part in it was breached right and that wasn't the worst part because of facebook's restriction settings at the time all of the friends of the two hundred seventy thousand people's data was breached as well including oh, wow so if i played it and you're my friend on facebook your data went to cambridge analytica was shared right now there's a whole load of people that are like oh have my, has my data been hacked has my data been hacked we've actually put a link at howtokillanhour.com uh called basically how to check if I've been hacked but so. then if you check on it does, your, does all your stuff <laughs> you get, go over to them do, do you get hacked no you, just, you literally just click a link and, and it tells you we put it on the site and it's super safe fact, let me click the link now because I haven't actually fucking done it how can I tell if recently oh shit yes as a result it appears that your Facebook information oh shit it was it was hacked <laughs> <laughs> fuck <sighs> someone's played this is your digital life and fucked with my information yeah so my information's been sh should I not be saying that on the show Bill you're fine alright cool I'm fine it's just out there I was safe though so what, what, what do they get what do they just get your your, your photos and oh stuff? shit no sorry I read it wrong it doesn't appear your Facebook information was shared with Cambridge Analytica Oh, sorry. Uh, that, that, yeah, was, that was like someone who's been diagnosed with chlamydia and then they told, actually, you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got chlamydia, you have gonorrhea instead. Oh, yeah. oh, can you imagine that? <laughs> Fuck that. Um, all right, cool. So basically, with your date, Billy, what would be the repercussions if my date was out there? What should I be worried about? As a man who's a, 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 f a fully across this. I don't think there's nothing much to worry about because it's already out there. There's nothing you can do about it. So don't worry about it. Just chill out. Yeah, because you're not going to get it back. So <laughs> just don't worry about it. All right. So it's it's, know, it's it. a bit of a bummer, but it's happened. Then. What's the worst thing we could all do with data like that? Me, you and Max in a room rubbing our Same hands. Same thing as what you're doing on Instagram with getting the folders of other people's photos. <laughs> if, if you really want to be evil... You could like, oh, so I could take, say you're on Facebook, sometimes you have like your location data and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. If you was like an evil person, you could say, oh, Marcus goes to this place five times a week. I'm going to go and just hang around there and try and bump into him and get an autograph. That's kind of stalkerish, but. That's quite nice, actually. I mean, I mean, you know, autograph is all right. If they wanted to bump into me and kill me, that wouldn't be cool. So you're saying with that information, I could find out where someone is. So yeah. I could say, if Max is at this place at 10 o'clock, Monday to Friday, odds are this is where he lives. And I'd have his, I'd have information about where he lives. But then again, all this, all this data is public data. Yeah. So it's not really, it's not really anything too, if you put it up there, then. Whatever. I mean, I, I mean, Max, I've said this on the show loads of times. Billy kind of feels the same. If you put it out on the internet, you just got to be cool with it going everywhere, isn't it? Yeah, of course, really, of course. Like, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Uh, speaking of data going everywhere, China, who are very technologically advanced, fact, have done some next level facial recognition, yeah? Really? Yeah. The Chinese police have used facial recognition to arrest somebody, check it, in a crowd full of 60,000 people at a concert. Right. Uh, so the suspect known as Mr. Al, we can't say more than that. He was attending uh, some guy called, <laughs> I don't know if this is a piss take name, Billy. Are you put this in, his name's Jackie Chung. Is that the artist's that's, name? That's the name. The artist's name's Jackie Chung, yeah. That sounds about right. All right. So, <laughs> uh, so well, you don't know Jackie Chung? 
I know Jackie Chan. I don't know Jackie Chung. Jackie Chung sounds like the better looking version of Jackie Chan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jackie so, Buff Ting. <laughs> Jackie Peng. Um, so yeah, BBC said that um, he was wanted for economic crimes. Yeah, so some economic crimes. China has a massive surveillance network, right? 170 million CCTV cameras is what they've got in their country. Now, they managed to find him upon arrival. And once he'd sat down, the police got him before he even watched Yeah, but they got, the they got all that at airports already. They, that, 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 that's already that's already happened but, like. but, but that's cool but 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 facial recognition if imagine there's a, a group group of us 60,000 strong do you know, do you know what that match. is do you know what that is oh. I, I reckon that's something to do with the iPhone cameras where you, you you see the iPhone 10 yeah it's got your facial recognition yeah tell like, that's going to the government and and snapchat well apparently that stays snapchat, on the phone but Instagram. Snap, snapchat all of those filters every time you do the dog, fa- dog face stuff, filter bro. do you reckon that day is 100%. going to someone fingerprint facial nah. recognition it's a database new world order what do you mean no but what you trust it billy trusts it apple has their data not the government but they've always said that it's not linked to you personally it's all encrypted and stuff it's just a bunch of numbers and they don't have your picture of your face they they I well, I, well, my understanding was totally different. I thought it stays on your phone. The information, no. like the, infor- the information for your fingerprint, they say to keep you yes, safe. Yes, stays yes, stays yes. in your phone. Stays in your phone, apparently. But uh, if it's in your phone, someone could hack it, though, Max. Do you know what I mean, Bill? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, someone could hack course, it. Yeah. I think it's just a series of digits. It's not your actual fingerprint. Yeah. So Do- I, I don't think they have like an X-ray or a take of your fingerprint. I think it's just a bunch of numbers saying like this. So this this would how this is how a computer would work. It would say your thumbprint relates to a bunch of numbers. I yeah. only, only open my phone when this when these numbers correlate to this thumb open right. up. So it doesn't actually have your thumbprint. But if I copy those numbers and put them into my phone, I could then say what kind of thing or I put it onto my computer. I could say what kind of fingerprint would access these numbers and then make that kind of fingerprint. Oh, that would work yeah that's uh, that's some like mission impossible type uh, shit like you could like yeah yeah that's right then yeah i'll be a sick secret agent anyway max before we get out of it um before we leave we'll, we'll end up on or end on something quite light <laughs> police have been fired in argentina because more than 500 kilograms of marijuana have disappeared from a warehouse <laughs> and <laughs> 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 in 2017 <laughs> and so is a thousand bars of Kit Kat <laughs> <laughs> all the Doritos are missing <laughs> <laughs> there's a shortage on Rizzlers yeah there's no Rizzlers <laughs> The fucking oh, the nap room. The nap room's fucking always busy. Everyone's always in a nap room napping. Um, Why is everyone using eye drops today? Yeah, man, everyone's got eye drops. <laughs> yeah, basically they 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 are seized. Where was this? Six in in Argentina. They okay. sixed. Uh, they seized 6,000 kilograms uh, <laughs> in the city of Pilar is where they kept it 35 miles north of Buenos Aires and that's what they that's what they nicked but during an inspection they discovered that there was everyone only, was lazy that there was only five, <laughs> five, five, five. <laughs> yeah the, fucking hell so easy to get in here everyone's so everyone's so chilled out hey Charles being like there's no what? incidents of uh, no why's, arguments why is everyone playing Bob Marley records <laughs> But one of the best things is, is do you want to hear the excuse that they gave? The, <laughs> they the, don't know where they put it. They blamed it <laughs> on mice. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently they said that the mice might have eaten it. The mice might have eaten it. Now, um, uh, those officers have obviously been... That uh, sounds like a stoner's excuse of why the weed went missing. It's a mouse. It's a mouse. It's a mouse. Uh but apparently, even a large group of mice, if they'd eaten it, a lot of corpses would have been found in the warehouse because mice can't eat that much weed. Now, we all know it's a lie. I just want to say, before we leave the show, if you were going to give an excuse for why the weed was missing, what would your excuse be, Max? You're there. They've seized 6,000 kilograms of marijuana. They've come to check out the marijuana. Maybe you and your mates have taken a little spliff off here once in a while, and it's amounted to that's 500 not a, that's kilograms. That's not a little spliff. That's, <laughs> that's like... <laughs> Well, maybe you and your mates might have taken a few bricks <laughs> and disappeared them. <laughs> right, what would your excuse be? I'd say, chill out, bro. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, Winston, chill. <laughs> you, you, so your your excuse would be like, here, just hit this, and then we'll talk about it later. Oh, do you say? Like, I've got some of my own supply that's personal <laughs> personal use. Um, why don't you have some of this, and then we'll we'll go looking for it. Okay, cool. All right, that'd be your excuse. What would your excuse be, Billy? If there was six no, thousand, my excuse yeah, would be Snoop Dogg was here last week. Okay, right. I think that's a good excuse. Snoop Dogg was here. More feasible than mice. Snoop Dogg came to say hello. Yeah. Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa had a really good day. There Nothing we go. to do with me. There we go. Standard. Billy, what would your excuse be? I'd say there's a tornado and. <laughs> <laughs> a, to- a tornado. Oh no! Oh, uh, yeah, go on, go on. Yeah, you yeah. know, yeah, right, yeah. Um, yeah, the tornado came in and just blew it everywhere, and it's like it's start across the city. It's gone. I'd I'd just switch it on them. I'd be like, yeah, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where you is know it? what? In fact, I'm gonna lead an investigation to find this weed, and if any more of this weed goes missing, because now there's only half of it left. Yeah, there's only three thousand kilograms of this weed, and if I find out that any of this two thousand five hundred kilograms of weed that's left over gets nicked, yeah, then I'm gonna have a serious trouble. conversation because there's only two thousand grams of, uh, kilograms of this left now, and I'm really upset. And then that's why. But I do. in the meantime, Alan, can you get everyone McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely what I do, man. Oh, uh, thank you very much for coming down to How to Kill an Owl, Max. All good. Just do you know what? Clarify. This makes more sense now. Why? Because I thought it was How to Kill an Owl. Ah. And I thought that, that would be really, really difficult because their head turns all the way around. Yes. So how are you gonna? I'm surprised that you still it? came here thinking that we were gonna kill an owl. That says a lot about yeah, you, bro. Yeah, because because it's not because it's, it's it's not recorded for TV. You might be able to get away with it. But okay. I was gonna come down here and do a big animal cruelty like thing about why it's not right to kill an owl. All right, Billy, bring in the owls. <laughs> 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 but please let, let it's listen. the daytime they're nocturnal bro <laughs> let them sleep nah it's them nicking the marijuana it's the do you, know, do you know what there's an owl yeah he sits in a tree yeah, yeah outside my house yeah and he's always making noise yeah yeah right who was it that said the owls are wise I don't know. I thought they're not, are they? saying. I don't know. I owls aren't I wise. they're just birds aren't they so if they're, they're not- that wise he'd know that I'm trying to sleep why are you making so much noise outside my window maybe he's fucking with you for fun what have I done to that owl <laughs> Ah, when he's trying to sleep in the day, you've done something. You've got up and moved oh. around. Nocturnal animal. There you go. Leave out some mice for him that have eaten some weed. <laughs> nice little treat. Rastamouse. Rast- it was Rast- Rastamouse. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the excuse. Rastamouse did it. Uh, right, anyway, uh, let listen to know how they can get in contact with you and find you on the internet, Max, please. Um, all my social media is really simple. It's just at Max Denham. M-A-X-D-E-N-H-A-M. There you go. Uh, this has been How to Kill an Hour. I've been Marcus Bronzy. You have been... Uh, Taylor Swift. <laughs> Max Wolf Denham. The wolf, you know. And who have you been, Bill? I've been producer Bill. Cheers. Thank you very much for killing some time with us. Oh, shit. Before we get out of here, do not forget, we're giving away an exclusive experience to try out this submarine slash killer whale slash jet ski slash crazy experience called Predator Adventures. To enter, all you have to do is go to howtokillanhour.com forward slash win. Please, if you go to howtokillanhour.com forward slash win, if you enter and don't win, we are going to send you a, um, a, a special code to give you a discount when you do want to go down there. But if you do win, please, on behalf of Iron Max, could you ask the pilot if we should be calling him captain? Sailor. Or a sailor. Yeah. Sailor, yeah. But the thing that he steers it with, I just want to say, Matt, it's not a wheel that spins around. It's no. like It looks like what pilots have. That's why I think he calls himself really? a pilot. Yeah. I don't think he's a pilot. Okay. There's plenty of ways to kill some time out there. Thank you for killing some time with us. Bless. Oh shit, I forgot to press record. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> you should have put that in there. You should have put that in there. I have. <laughs>